like you don't want to hear about the Hasselbeck <laughs> I will admit that I have a very checkered past with The View, or as Barbara calls it, The View, and <laughs> now I'm just gonna and put a match to it. So, so, um, I, I have, you know, co-hosted the show many times and lucky enough to have been a guest and met all kinds of exciting people. So here's how I feel about like the current group, right? So, you know, Whoopi and Joy, of course, comedians, we get along very easy, right? Um, Sherry Shepard, uh, I love, we were on Suddenly Susan together. Um, I know some of you are a little hushed because you think I'm going to make fun of Sherry, um, but I don't have to. Um, <laughs> I think that if you think the earth is flat, and if you think that if I run too fast, I might fall off the edge. Um, or if you think that Christians were the first people on earth, you've done my work for me. I... I don't think anything predated Christians. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Oh, the, right. the, the Greeks came yes. first. Yes, the Greeks, the Greeks were first. first. Then the Romans, then the Christians. Jesus came first before them, so I... I, I no. I, okay. Is the world flat? Is the world flat? <laughs> yes. I don't know. <laughs> What do you think? I, I never thought about it, Whoopi. I, is the world flat? I never thought about it. So anyway, and then of course there's Hasselbeck, who, um, by the way, a little fun fact for you, actually has said to me several times over the years, I think you're really funny. You know, of course she and I are on different parts of the political spectrum. You know, it's a, it's a coat of many colors, but um, you know, I've definitely made fun of her over the years and I freely admit that as I've made fun of everybody. Okay, so after years of doing The View and getting in trouble for saying certain things and sometimes, you know, Barbara's mad at me or some Sometimes the show wants to book me and sometimes they don't, fine. But now I think my current policy is, uh, or I should say was, that I could do The View as long as it wasn't a Barbara day. I, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. I'm happy to be there. And like I said, you know me, I'm always selling something. I got a book to sell. I got a show for you to watch. I want you to buy a t-shirt. I'm on the hamster wheel, right? Okay, so, so sure enough, I go and it's not a Barbara day, but I'm still thinking I have my seven minute segment here and I'm plugging the new season of the D list. So I was thrilled to be on the show and I just, you know, talking about the show, trying to make it exciting to the viewers and trying to make everybody laugh. I wasn't really focusing on Hasselbeck to tell you the truth. So I I didn't notice, and if you have YouTubed this, I encourage you to do it tonight. Um, anyway, um, I did not realize that during my segment, apparently Elizabeth was yawning and rolling her eyes the whole time and just going, <sighs> and at one point was on the couch and actually was yawning and had her legs up like that, which um, is now my screensaver. <laughs> Me and um, <laughs> what you say about you? Can I at least send you a muffin basket? Yes, I you for decades, and, and now even he's like standing last up. Two, three. The and so the clock is ticking down, and there was about a minute left. And then Hasselbeck pipes up out of the blue and says, "I'd like to know what it's like for you to be on this panel after having said things about people on this panel that are a untrue, b not so funny." <laughs> Honey, you could have heard a pin drop. <laughs> I go for it no matter yeah, what. Nothing's like off the table. does it to you. But Come you said, on. Like, you said things he, about people here that yeah. are A, untrue, and B, not so funny. So do you ever feel uh -oh. weird like them coming uh -oh. here, say, and sitting uh -oh. here? And Remember, this is a live show. This is a live show. And the poor live audience, like, I could hear them just be like, what the f***? <laughs> what's, what's going on? I thought there was going to be a cooking segment. I thought they were going to show us how to knit baby booties. What's going on? What you guys get, that these celebrities still don't get, is that I live for that <laughs> You get it, they don't get it. So, I, a million things went through my head, and if you watch the tape, you'll see my eyes are like freaking pinwheels. They are like pinwheels, because I know I only have a little time left, and yet this awesome thing has just happened, but I so no, when I'm busted, I'm busted. And let me tell you, I have said some about Elizabeth Hasselbeck. I mean, I really thought she had me. You know, I thought she was going to say, let's go to the tape or have a quote on a card. You could probably go home and Google, you know, Kathy Griffin talks 
about Elizabeth Hasselbeck and find pages of stuff. And so when Hasselbeck said that to me, I went through the Rolodex in my head of all the <laughs> I've said all the times I've called her like a moron, an uneducated idiot, a crazy teabagger, and Sarah Palin kiss ass. I mean, I really thought I was fizzucked, okay? And then, and then so I just had a split second, I thought, you know what? I gotta just take it. Whatever she's got on me, I gotta take it. So I said to her, what do you got, Hasselbeck? Bring it. And the audience applauded. I couldn't believe it. And then I knew it was a moment. <laughs> you kind of, you know, promoting is, things. Actually, when this said moment is what I live for, so bring it. <laughs> I know. This is, this is Sadly, I mean, this is actually I know, on our debate right in my head so. whether feeding your your. Curious fire there. No, this so is how I write my act. It's cool. We're cool. <laughs> I'm cool if you're cool. I'm I think cool. it's all no, for a joke. It's so cool. It's all cool. <laughs> it's when you when you do Because what you guys get that she doesn't get is that that for me was a gift from baby Jesus. <laughs> with a big bow on it. Because she had nothing. She had not, that's the part I couldn't believe. I really thought she was gonna have this list of horrible things and I was gonna have to do the whole speech about, well, it's all in fun and it's a joke. She had nothing. So anyway, there's only a few seconds left in the segment and the other host just started talking furiously, trying to change the subject. And they were all asking me questions off topic at the same time. It was like a bomb went off in the studio. <laughs> But I wasn't listening to a thing they were saying to me. They were all like the teacher from Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 Because in my head, I'm really thinking, holy sh**, she doesn't have anything? I don't mean to sound like a tool, and I might sound like an asshole saying this, but really, Hasselbeck, really, you're gonna throw down with me? Really? Really? If you're gonna come to the play yard, be prepared to play. So I was just thrilled. So they're asking me all these questions, wah, 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 and I was like, Phew. I was focused because I knew the clock was ticking down, 10, 9, 8, and I said, I'm sorry, Hasselbeck, you have anything else to say? Boom, we go to commercial. It's, when you when you doing it? Is anything it, else you'd like to say, Elizabeth? No, because this is just getting good. Action. <laughs> no, I love a lot of TV. Uh, right, thank you so much to all the single Ooh. ladies. Thank you so much, Kathy Griffin. Season this six of Kathy Emma Griffin. And My so Life so on the D-List premieres yeah. tonight on Bravo, and everybody is going home with a copy of Kathy's book. Shame. Shame. Okay, they go to commercial, and once again, everyone on the show who works there is like, bye, Miss Griffin, like they can't get me out of there. Like, Thanks a lot, come back anytime, bye. And, and you know, I could tell the audience was uncomfortable, and I turned to the live audience and I said, come on, you guys don't really want to see me fight with Hasselbeck, right? Come on, shake my hand. And she wouldn't shake my hand. And I said, be a gentleman. 